Today we're going to be looking at a new skill. So we're going to be looking at Bossy R. Bossy R likes to take control over vowels. So when R is paired up with a vowel, the bar, the R is like, no, no, no vowel. I'm going to be the boss here and I'm going to make all the sounds. I'm going to sound like R. So bossy R sounds like R. So if you notice here, when the R is paired with the A, we don't hear the A. It just sounds like R. R says, I'm the boss. I'm going to make the sound. A, you're going to sit there quietly. So for example, I'm going to show you some words without the bossy R. A sounds like a, ah, like cat, ban, am, at, yam, ham. So the A makes a sound. It sounds like a, ah, a, ah, a, ah, a, ah, a, ah, a. Ah. But when that bossy R comes in, ooh, that A has to stay quiet because that bossy R likes to do all the talking. So look it, I have cat, but if I put an R in there, I don't hear the A anymore, I only hear R, cart, barn, arm, art, yarn, harm. What happened to that A sound? Bossy R took over. Let's read those again. Cart, barn, arm, art, yarn, harm. So today, these are the words that we're going to be looking at. Bossy R takes over with the other vowels too, like the A, the I, the E, the O, and the U. But today we're only going to look at the A. So we're going to focus on words that have a r so you know that when you see the a r what's going to happen that bossy r is going to take over and we're going to hear the sound r give me your best r sound so let's read them one more time before we move on cart barn arm r Yarn, harm. Can you read them for me one time? Good job. This week we also have new high frequency words. So we have new high frequency words. Our high frequency words for this week are four, like the number four. Not for, like this is for you. I made this for you. No, no, no. This is the number four. Large. None. Only. Put. Round. Let's read those together. Four. Large. None. Only put round, okay? So I don't have cards for you this week, but if you have cards at home, I want you to make some cards for these R words. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I want you to include the high frequency words there. So you should have a total of six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards, okay? And I want you to practice those. I want you to practice the R words and reading the high frequency words. Today for your independent work, you're going to work in your squirrel book. And you're going to work on pages 211 and 212. So that's page 211 and 200.
and 12 in your squirrel book. And let's see if I can zoom in enough to show you the page. So I'm just gonna read the directions for you. On page 211 it says, the letters R together make the sound you hear at the end of car. K R. Read the words in the box. Listen to the R sound. Write the word that names each picture. So we have sk R f scarf. R m arm. Sh R shark st r star so you're going to look at the picture and see which word goes there then down here your directions say write your own sentence using a word from the box so you're going to pick a word from this box and write your own sentence then on page 212 you have high frequency word practice. So you have your list of high frequency words up here and your directions say, complete each sentence, use one of the words in the box. So let's read the words together. For, none, only, large, put, round. Sentence number one, the shape of this cake is, pick one of these words to put up here. I see blank, one cat here. That shark is blank. Number four, Carl wants an apple but there are blank. Five, there are blank swings. And number six, I can help blank the dishes in the sink. Don't forget when you write it in, it's helpful to cross it out from your, from your box up here. And then I want you to reread the sentences with the word and make sure that it makes sense to you. Okay? Good luck, boys and girls.